Hello, it's been a while, and um, there's been actually two updates, but I just didn't cover them since they were very small, and there wasn't much content. But you can see there's a map now. Okay, you can teleport. Enemies button. I think I I, I don't know what that's supposed to show. There's a friends menu. There's a players menu to show the players in an area. And I think the green is. I think that's players. Oh wait, I can drag. Okay, the map's not even completed. Unless it is, and it's just very confusing. Um, you can buy a fishing rod here. Buy fishing pole. Special item can be used for fishing, not attacking. And there is like fishes everywhere. You can just go in every point you can probably find some except for haunted woods, like right here for example. Just fish here, I'll show you how to fish. So to fish, you just need to like press spacebar, and then you can use W or an S. W or S to like move the thing down. And you just hold it until a fish eventually takes it. And it might take a while, but you'll eventually catch the fish. There we go. And I'm gonna go catch some fish off camera, so I'll see you in a little bit. Alright, so it's been like two seconds, and I've caught a lot of fish. Here, let me show you. I caught some fish off camera, as you can see. I'm actually gonna catch this stagnum scum. I think that's what it's called. I'm not too sure. But some of these fish hitboxes are really, like, weird. Yeah, guys. The fishing rod is not used as a weapon. I'm gonna go check out great frogs and plant monsters and see if there's any fish that I could catch there. So there's a new frog helmet variant, and I'm gonna go check it out. And there's also... Oh, fish. What are these? Um, I recognize these. These are from Petropolis. I do not recognize these. That's probably a plant fungus one. I recognize that. I had a lot of shinies and original helmet hurdles. Okay, and here's a secret area. It's just right outside the shop. Well, it's not really a secret. You can just go down and fish. Yeah, there's a lot of pools here. Do they spawn here? Oh yeah, right here. Right there. Okay. And is there any more? Nope, it's just that. Okay. So it's a pretty small area. Nothing much here. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's also stuff in Pay Vault. Uh, let's go down. Fast Travel and Fish Radar. I'm pretty sure Fish Radar is broken at the moment, so don't buy that. Alright, here we are. Mushroom Village. Um, let's hope there's an enchanting thing somewhere, if there isn't. Oh, here we are. Create Empowering Weapons. Yes, please. Welcome to my enchantment house. If you have the proper fish and money, I can make it so any weapon will be enchanted. Allow you to use your element with it. Let's see what gear you have. Okay, that is very expensive. Uh, so... Oh my god. So that's how much, um, enchantments... You're gonna have to do some math, so like, I need a, like a thousand or something. Uh, do a thousand divided by twenty-two, and that's how much coconut fish you'd need, or something. And then money. I'm assuming it gets more expensive the higher level weapon your stuff is, or like how, it, or like how more expensive it is. I don't know if this is the original prices for it though. It might be. The peacock bow is in Mushroom Village, so I'll check it out. Uh, that's the exact same price, so you're basically just. Duplicating your weapon. Not duplicating, but you're like buying another one. Just to have it have an enchant. Uh, let's see. Fishing rod. Let's enchant it. Consume the following fish. Spots, worm, 23 sellers. Yes, I'm okay with it. Alright, and now I have a enchanted fishing pole. This weapon is enchanted, allowing you to use your element with it. Let's use it. And boom. Fire. Uh, let's see. Okay, so there was like additional 5 damage there. Okay, I'm gonna use that on stronger monsters. These guys get one-shotted. Also, you shouldn't, um, sheath your flaming weapon, because it might delete your data, apparently. I don't know, something, something about that. Okay, so you hit them and they get like additional damage done to them. That's, that's sick. And the damage can overlaps too, so I think if I do that... Yeah, it, the damage increases now. 
So it's okay, I guess. I don't. I wouldn't say it's like too OP. I wouldn't invest into this. I think it'd be something that's like cosmetic worthy. I wouldn't actually want to buy this. And I'm pretty sure that's it for this update. Uh, it's pretty cool, but I won't be playing it. So if you find me in a game, that's gonna be rare. Also, hello to Azza. Yeah, for my lack of uploads, um, I usually try to do weekly Helmer Hills content, but if the game gets updated and there isn't much things to showcase, I won't upload a video. Or if it's just like mostly unfinished and buggy, I won't make a video on it because I don't see why anybody would like to see the buggy version of the game. And I've been working on a, like animation, so yeah, that's about it. See ya.